Think of the headlines, the primetime news, the social media feed, on any day of the week, in any part of the world. What do you see? Through this lens, many of us see conflict, aggression, mistrust in governance, the corruption of time-honored institutions, and unparalleled expressions of prejudice, making hope an increasingly scarce resource. For Baha'is, the pain afflicting the world reveals the reality of two simultaneous processes at work. One being the process of disintegration, through which centuries-old structures and ways of being are falling apart, and the other being the process of integration, through which communities built on justice and an understanding of our collective oneness are emerging. These twin processes are leading humanity to an era of maturity, an era in which each one of us can realize our inherent oneness and unfold our true human potential. The Baha'i Faith is an independent monotheistic religion with more than 8 million followers from every country, region and territory of the world. This human family, while incredibly diverse and widespread, is united through its love of the teachings of Baha'u'llah, the prophet founder of the Baha'i Faith. Baha'u'llah's message is centered on three principles. The oneness of God, though called by different names throughout the ages and in different regions and countries, the one creator, God, guides humanity. The oneness of religion. While the divine messengers have shared their spiritual teachings in different regions throughout history, they all fundamentally shine with the same light of truth. The oneness of humanity. We are all members of one human family. This reality demands that prejudice, whether racial, religious or gender related, be completely eliminated. As mounting challenges assail humanity, there is a yearning for truth, for justice, for equality, for unity among the diverse elements of society. In villages, neighborhoods, towns and cities around the world, Baha'is, along with their friends and neighbors, are engaged in community-building activities. In this process, all are learning to contribute to creating spiritually and materially prosperous communities. And yet building thriving communities involves increasing complexity. So how does a world religion like the Baha'i Faith, which has no clergy, administer the affairs of the community? At the local, national and then international level, Baha'is democratically elect their governing bodies. And while this may sound similar to the processes unfolding in many parts of the world in civil society, the Baha'i process is unique. In this sacred process of Baha'i elections, there are no parties, no nominations, there is no campaigning, no electioneering, and all vote through a confidential ballot. Rather than being divisive and destructive, the electoral process becomes an opportunity for individuals to prayerfully consider who might best and selflessly serve the growing community. Being elected to serve on administrative bodies is a voluntary service. Baha'i elections occur in an atmosphere of deep reflection and profound devotion, building trust between the individuals and institutions. At all levels, the elected members, rather than being responsible to those who elect them, consult prayerfully, are guided by their conscience, and are responsible solely to God. 
This new model of administrative order transforms the current concept of power as a means of domination and superiority into a concept of power as rooted in love, unity, humble service and pure deeds. The limitless power to transform hearts, to build capacity, to uplift and to unite, and not simply to have power over others. And this unique process, which has begun in villages, cities and countries around the world, culminates here, in Haifa, on Mount Carmel. Every five years, some 1,300 elected representatives from more than 170 countries travel to Haifa to cast their ballots and elect the nine members of the international governing body of the Baha'i Faith, the Universal House of Justice. The mandate given to the Universal House of Justice by Baha'u'llah himself is vast and includes exerting a positive influence on the welfare of humankind promoting education, attaining peace, establishing global prosperity, and safeguarding human honor. Rather than being related to power and ambition, the high elections are a summons to sacrifice, a summons to responsibility, a summons to trustworthiness, a summons to consultation, a summons to humble fellowship, a summons to service, a summons to service.